previous class, we talked about divorce in a uh, traditional marriage. Uh, uh, we said that uh, in a traditional marriage, uh, divorce starts with uh, paying back in salamu. And if the, there was no salamu, because we define traditional marriage is anything coming, any uh, thing coming together, like a man and a woman, then they stay for more than three months. That can be instituted as marriage. Now, when it comes to divorce, uh, marriage, they should go to court and also they should pay back in salam. So now, today we are going to talk about divorce in a, a statutory marriage, according to the Marriage Act. So join me and let's uh, continue and enjoy the lesson. In a statutory marriage, uh, it has got very strict laws when it comes to uh, a divorce. Number one, uh, you cannot divorce just after getting married for less than one year, then you decide uh, to divorce uh, in a statutory marriage. In a statutory marriage, according to uh, the Act 1969, you are supposed to divorce only after five years. So as long as uh, you, you were married under the, uh, the, the statutory marriage, the the minimum, I think, uh, I've, I've not uh, seen the where it has been reduced. I've heard about three three years, but uh, what I've seen, what I know, it is five years. One has to be uh, on separation. They have to be on separation for five years. And during that five years, if anyone gets married, if anyone starts staying with another man or another woman, that is considered as bigamy. And bigamy, according to the uh, Act, Marriage Act is that you are reliable imprisonment for uh, three years minimum and seven years maximum. So in, uh, in a, a marriage act, one has to stay for not less than five years. You have to stay on separation for not less than five years uh, continuously. And uh, that period you have to prove that you have been single and still you have been faithful to your uh, ex. Anything in between can be cited as adultery and can be cited as uh, bigamy or uh, polygamy, which can be uh, a criminal offense or which can be a durable offense in a marriage act. According to the laws of Zambia, um, in the marriage act, a marriage can only, uh, divorce can only be granted if the, there is proof that that marriage has broken down irretrievably, meaning that that marriage cannot be mended. No matter how much you may try, that marriage cannot be, uh, there can never be reconciled in that marriage. And these two people can never store, stay together in one house. So that is the only way that the marriage under the Marriage Act can be, uh, the divorce can be allowed. So the divorce is only allowed if you are married under the Marriage Act, whereby there is a proof that this marriage cannot work out no matter what. So the, then the procedure is that uh, both parties or one of the party must uh, fill in the affidavit, must apply to the court. Because on the Marriage Act, the people that are gazetted to marry, they may be men. Your pastor can marry you. And yeah, there are other marriage uh, uh, chaplains that can marry you, like uh, at the civic center. But when it comes to divorce, only the judge in the high court can be uh, can, can uh, divorce you and also there must be applications which has to be done by the lawyers marriage act under marriage act the only one who can help you uh, to uh, divorce or to forward the papers to the uh, uh, to the court it is the lawyer you have to hire the lawyer for you to divorce you should be able to be ready and you should be able to pay the lawyer for the divorce. So the papers has to be filled in there, which are called the affidavit, the application to the court, and 
uh, there are a lot of documentation that has to be done then the judge will be able to sit not uh, in less than one year so they are going to look at that uh, uh, at your divorce and the process can will go for more than one year as i said there must be a proof that you have been on separation um, if not less than three years and also your marriage can never work out no matter what uh, what are the eight grounds uh, that can institute uh, the divorce in a marriage act one there must be the, the the mutual consent where two parties there is what is called consent divorce that is where now two parties agree oh let's divorce and they are uh, we will, you invite the lawyer the lawyer is going to prepare the document which is uh, going to be consent judgment so whereby you both of you you have to sign you also sign on the properties how you're going to divide the properties and everything you have to put them in writing then you present them before the judge and then the judge is going to look at your document and the reasons why you want to divorce then the judge is going to institute um, the um, the divorce is going to allow that divorce so that is uh, that is how uh, that is what is called mutual consent whereby you just agree that no i think we cannot stay together uh, and on this one we have just to divorce when you when you come to that uh, point then you you will call the lawyer the lawyer prepares the documentation you file them in the court the judge looks at it again it is not going to be just the, uh, there it is going to take also not less than one year for the judge to look at the document so that uh, you have time to reconcile and you've got time maybe to change your uh, to amend and uh, other things uh, the the other reason for divorce can be cruelty whereby your husband and your wife is cruel and you feel i'm not safe in this marriage so if you feel you are not safe in that marriage because of the cruelty of your husband or your wife you are you are being abused left right center that marriage can also can be the reason for you to divorce then adultery in the marriage act uh, adultery is uh, being found in the very act of sexual act with a person who uh, you find in your husband or your wife with a woman in bed or you find your wife um, with your husband your, your 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 you find your wife with a man in bed whereby you have got the evidence of penetration that is adultery in the marriage act in marriage acts adultery does not just come because you have seen your wife coming from the bedroom with a man and you say it is adultery that is what about if you went to help your your wife what about if your wife was in danger and he was there to help uh, to rescue your wife so adultery is only instituted uh, and declared in a marriage act when you find people in a very act of adultery and there is a proof that you found them so that is uh, uh, that can be a reason enough for you to say no i'm divorcing my husband or i'm divorcing my wife because i have found him in this act sometimes they the others they you even use where the child where where the husband has got a child out of wedlock and uh, that can also be uh, an evidence of adultery or where your wife has got a child whom you know that this one is not my child and you go to uh, court and there is a proof of dna that that child is does not belong to uh, any of those parties like if you you have the proof that this child does not belong to me and there is dna proof or um, whereby a woman not to just hear, hear that no my wife has impregnated the, uh, the another woman so i'm divorcing no there is nothing like that in a marriage act you should take that child for dna and there must be a proof that that child really is your husband's child 
when that is the, uh, there is that evidence that you can say he committed adultery and I'm divorcing my husband. Uh, then the other reason for divorce in a marriage act, it is decision whereby you leave your husband and start go somewhere uh, without his consent for some times. Then that can be uh, also the reason why you can uh, institute divorce because if you leave your husband or you leave your wife, your wife leaves you and go somewhere and go or go and stay somewhere without your consent, without you. So you can file in for divorce and you can give that as a reason why you should divorce. Uh, the other, uh, it, is, uh, it is mental disorder. Mental disorder, it is the situation whereby your husband or your wife become uh, mentally disturbed and uh, they cannot think in a proper way whereby your husband maybe has lost mind, has lost mind and is mad now. So in that way, you can be able to, uh, to divorce. So divorce is allowed in that situation. Uh, then there is a uh, communicable disease. Um, most of the communicable diseases, they are not, uh, they don't stay so long, but it is also uh, allowed whereby there is the danger that you can be able to uh, to contact that disease, like in those days, leprosy and uh, other diseases that can uh, be uh, communicable, uh, which are not uh, healable diseases, which you cannot uh, be healed. So you can also institute divorce on that one. Then renunciation of the uh, world. Uh, renunciation, it is whereby you you just renounce your, your, your wife. I don't want her. I don't want her. You give the reasons. That is also uh, uh, the reason for divorce. If one, if people were married in a statutory marriage or in a, under the Marriage Act, uh, there are rights that the spouse or the ex husband or ex-wife has. Number one, they have got rights to uh, uh, to support. So if you separate or you you divorce legally, um, the wife has got the right to continue with the surname of the husband and also the wife has got the right to uh, uh, during separation, the wife has got the rights to properties of the husband without any say of the husband. And so it is the children. The wife has got the, uh, the rights to be supported by the husband fully. And she has got all the rights that she used to enjoy as she, when she was the, uh, the, the wife. So in a... Um, in a uh, in a statutory marriage, the uh, if the breadwinner was a woman, then it means that uh, the the wife was uh, the, the wife is supposed to support the husband. Now coming to the home, coming to the house, if the the house that they were staying in as the matrino house, in the matrino house that house. No, uh, uh, the, the, until the court dissolves that marriage, the, that house belongs to both of them. And in the case whereby the, the, the one who is the breadwinner should leave that house to the other party who cannot be able to manage the lentils. Now, in the situation whereby you are just renting the house, so if you are renting the house, the husband or the wife must be able to continue renting the house for the wife or for the uh, for the husband. So all the privileges that one had when they were married should continue until that time whereby 
now they have shared the properties so when it comes to the uh, sharing of properties in the marriage act the properties are shared equal 50 50 whether your wife was working or was not working then all the properties that you possess in that marriage belongs to both of you and they have to be shared equally on the middle if you had uh, uh, one car you have to sell it and share the money if you had the one house you have to share it to you sell it and share it if you had so there must be uh, the sharing of the properties equal uh, between the husband and the wife so that is uh, what the marriage acts provide there is nothing like that it is me who has been working in marriage acts there is nothing like that as long as that uh, spouse you you possess those things whilst you are with that spouse it means that she or he has got rights over uh, those properties and you have got no say the court uh, lose that you should be able to share them equally uh, the other thing that has to be considered in um, in a, in a, a statutory marriage is uh, uh, is that as, as I said you cannot marry within uh, the period of five years you can only marry uh, you can should be on separation for five years and marry after the the marriage has been dissolved so that's uh, I think that's uh, about uh, uh, marriage and uh, remarriage now there are other important uh, parties in the um, in, 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 in marriage which are children in the case where there were children because when it comes to property sharing there is nothing whether you had a child with that man or you did not have that child with that man that man has rights to the properties whether you had a child with that woman that woman has got rights to properties now the children in the statutory marriage uh, children have are gazetted to have the right of properties of their parents so it is uh, you should set up what how, how it is going to be resolved how the issue of children must be resolved you have to uh, like when you're doing the paperwork you should answer all those questions you should be able to say how your children are going to be staying how you're going to be supporting the children how you're going to uh, to live with your children and everything you know in the statutory marriage in the statutory marriage a marriage does not end uh, through fighting you should reach at the point whereby you should put your 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 issues on round table and negotiate you must be able to say and you have to be able to uh, to negotiate on how you're going to do everything after marriage after the marriage has been dissolved so that's why they'll take you for years so that you cannot just keep on you cannot be angry for over one year so you the the court will ensure that you reach at the point whereby you are able to come to your senses even when you are saying we are divorcing you, you are even smiling with your wife and your your husband you are able to to speak as friends because in a statutory marriage it is expected that you still remain as uh, friends even after divorce that's why the wife has got the rights to the name of the husband as long as she is still single so that is uh, that is uh, uh, the statutory marriage so children have to be protected you have to state how the children are going to live and uh, you know this marriage is not the marriage for the just uh, uh, common people it is it is tense it is not a marriage that you just wake up and say we are divorcing 
It is not the marriage that you just uh, say we are divorcing. Uh, many people they don't even know uh, what it means when you go to the civic center that you want to get married. They don't even know when you go to the church, uh, gazetted minister, and say you want to get married. And the problem is also with the marriage, um, the one that officiates the marriage, because they don't tell the, the people they, uh, what is involved in those marriages and what they are getting in and um, what, is, uh, what shall be uh, done if they want to separate. So in that marriage, it is... Uh, marriage has been made to stay forever in the according to the marriage act but now it is uh the situation whereby people are people and they divorce so thank you so much and it has been 